I'm gonna keep the begging, children. dude. I'm help, gonna keep begging the for children. the kids. Help the children. I'm gonna I know, keep begging for I know the, the people, I know Showdown in the chat right now is posting up the links that you can follow. Yeah. Let's go ahead and donate. Click on the links, donate. It's a dollar. Give it in. But we're gonna hop into the match right now. Yeah. Trayvonte versus Daz. Only 20% separating them right now. Trayvonte taking it to Daz. Yeah. Off stage. And this is exactly what we were talking about in that last match. How Trayvonte ended up 3 0 Daz in the first place. There's so much pressure that he puts on off stage. And he stays at the long range on larger stages when he goes against Daz so that Daz cannot take the full benefit of having those projectiles uh, out placed in front of him. And that dub combo setting Trayvonte extremely high. I was not expecting that. Especially it's like not even 80%. Yeah, Trevante also waits very patiently for the Levin Sword to not be in effect uh, when he goes in for grabs. Because if he ends up getting grabbed, oh. uh, that can be a really, really big problem for him. You good? Yeah, everything's all right, guys. Uh, okay. Dath ends up taking the first stock, but it looks like Trevante is trying his hardest to take it right back. So, guys, we're having a little bit of an issue. Looks like somebody ended up tripping a wire, but right now... Looks like uh, Trayvante has not yet taken the stock off of Dath. Dath has some stage control right now. All right, hey, but we are we back. Go. We are we are back, boys. All right. Oh, Dath actually taking that stuff. And a fortunate SDs. SD right there from Dath. I'm not quite sure what happened right there. Uh, I, think he I think he might have been trying to just drop off and not fastball off ledge. It's interesting, though, to see that Dath has come right off of a victory and Trayvante has come off of a loss. It's definitely two different swings of momentum. Trayvante Ooh. takes a really strong back air. What is he going to do? He ends up getting Ooh. caught with the roll. A lot of people get set up in that situation that Dath presents. The Levin Sword still on deck. If he gets a down throw into up air, that could be the game one. Nice bouncing fish. Trayvante definitely just wants to stay safe, get those guaranteed to rack up. Trayvante reading these rolls right now, getting him with the grab, missing that bouncing fish, oh, and eating the Elwin spike! Right down town into the Shadow Realm. Death getting sent to that Shadow one. Realm right quick. Saying what's up to all his all his homies, his fallen camp comrades, but it's all good because he got a couple more games to play right now. He's trying to bring this back. Yeah, he definitely has a few. Death, I mean, he is a very strong player, and I think that after going through the gauntlet here in NorCal um, on loser's side. He has definitely earned his way to the top. Trayvante, even though he 3 0 him before, Dath is a quick learner. Yeah, I'm really impressed with how Dath is showing his adaptation to each like player he's been playing. Like, yeah, yes, he did get 3 0 by Trayvante on the winner's side, but right now he's taking it straight to Trayvante, showing what he's learned, using all of his projectiles, and just spacing out a little better than he was before. Yeah. A nice fair string there. Trying to keep Death off stage, oh. and it works. He gets an early gimp. That is the power of Sheik, that off stage presence. And there's really nothing that Robin can do in that situation other than up B with some very, very accurate. Yeah, lo lost her jump, and there's really nothing else you can do, especially with that recovery. Trick wants to getting that early percent very quickly. I mean, Robin does have some strong tools against Sheik, but Robin being such a heavy character, it's really so nice easy for right Sheik there. to get those early percent follow-ups. Look how she hasn't gone anywhere when it comes down to the height of the down throw. Robin right now, Trayvante has in just space. stayed in. He has not allowed Dap any type of time to charge up the Arc Thunder, the Arc Fire. And just staying? Oh my goodness. Really nice option from Dap right there. Dropping yeah. down and rising up with that up air. Really want to see. Ooh! A single needle. Daff has anything up his sleeve right now. He's having a very hard time in the forward air off stage. That is a quick two stock. That it was a Queen minute. Two stock. Great stuff from Trayvonte right there. Great, great stuff from Trayvonte. Being able to take that, evening up the side. 1 1. Let's see what he's got up next. Uh, now. Death has to find a way to work through this offstage pressure. Uh, he's getting eliminated offstage, but it's so strong on stage. Going for these longer stages, I feel like it's more comfortable for Javante. Something a, a little bit smaller makes it so that that arc fire uh, is a lot more dangerous. At that long range, there can be needle camping. Javante's trying to find a way in, though, and he's getting punished real hard while the Levin Sword is out. Yep. No, I really feel like Smashville and Town and City 
are going to help out Trayvante a lot more. But right now, it's not. But the fear of that hoo-ha right now. I think if Dath were to collect it, maybe another. I think he'd probably do it right now, actually. <laughs> yeah. At 70. And, ooh. Oh, he Reading. waited, saw that the air dodge the came into the ground, dodge. reacted with forward a solid air? down smash, and a forward Ouch. air to finish it off. He is doing exactly what Trevante did to him in that last game. Yeah. Again, Dath really just showing his adaptation to the player, playing a lot smarter, throwing out the thunder, even if it is not charged. Just trying to keep Trevante at bay. Yeah. He's doing what he can to try to get in this. And right now, he has a nice lead. Trevante trying to come back, hitting these combos. He's really trying to push Dath across the stage, get him in that offstage situation. Nice arc fire to try and cover the ledge. Ooh, Nosferatu, gaining some percent. Dath has the Levin Sword back again, and when he has that in hand, it has always been really, really high damage. And that Robin bread and butter, so much percent tacked on right there. Grabbing the tome, throwing it at Trevante. Great grab. He tries to go for Missing the up air. Follows the second, though. What did Trevante got in his pocket here? He needs to take this stock, but he's already at a point where, oh, he mashed out of Great that grab extremely mash. quickly. Great mash right there, because he knows a back throw would have ended this game. Or goes for a vanish combo. Death falling down Nosferatu. with a Nosferatu gets a lot of percent back. And Trevante is even deeper in the hole. Nice needles there, but Dath finishes it off with the forward Answering air. Answering that bouncing fish with the fair of his own. Going up in this set. The Levin Sword one. just completely crushes Sheik in the air. Uh, spaced properly, Dath has shown the power of this character in these situations. Uh, Dath has been working a lot harder to not mm -hmm. get gimped off stage. He's been throwing out the arc fires to the ledge. He's been DIing high, trying to get as close as possible using the platforms of that last stage. But on this stage, I feel like Trevante is going to have a huge advantage. Yep, there's no platforms on him to really like run off to and try to charge up anything. Trevante is going to be able to stay on death as he is right now, racking up 56% right now to zero, 59. My goodness, this Really pressure. nice spacing on death's shield there. Once Trevante gets in, he has a lot that he can do, but death is so good at keeping him out. Just right now, death does not seem to have that same kind of strength that he's seen in different games. Driving the zone, throwing it back at Dath. Trevante getting this great lead right now. Yeah. Dath trying to land. Trevante ends up missing the grab. That could be a bad sign, but he ends up getting another one. Goes for the bouncing fish. That is going to be some solid pressure. And oh, a bouncing fish. Oh, my goodness. Reverse Trevante needles. Trevante hitting him with a flop and flounder. Reverse went into needles. the stage spike. Taking that stock. My goodness. So clean right there. We've been seeing so much of a good job of oh, that offstage game from Trevante. Death rules the stage, Trevante rules the air. Ooh, Arc Thunder into down throw jab, my goodness. Clean 48% right there. Death is still down by quite a lot. If Trevante ends up winning this game, he's going to have to fight on a Death counter pick. These multi jabs do so much to help Death out. Early percent. A uh, really good way to punish whenever Trevante ends up missing. He cannot afford to throw out a grab of his own. I think Trevante didn't mean to even go. He tried to go for a double jab, probably into a, a dash grab. Oh my goodness. Daft trying to get that two frame. Trying to get him with that L win spike. But not quite getting it. Trevante getting back on stage. Yeah. Eating that L win. Trevante being forced to just sit there and be patient. Because the Levin Sword is in play right now. He knows that he cannot approach hastily because ex that's exactly what has happened Yet to Yet again, Death showing us that Trevante cannot come in with that Bouncing Fish because right. he's going to give him a fair. He came in with a fair right there. But I mean, as we all know. another solid Bouncing Fish. He goes for Needles but does not follow up. Very Robin can do anything there. with it. It's Levin Sword. I think that with some of the new shields done, end up going for fair right into a jab. Might be a little bit safer of an option. Nice back air, barely missing that bounce. 25 percent raw with the Levin Sword. A lot of characters are very underrated in this game. I've got to say. Now Trevante the Levin Sword is on Trayvon's side. Away. He gets the grab. He will get an up air. Up air. 
That is going to be Evening it right there. Evening up the set, 2-2. Going this down to game five. a tough situation to be in. Dath gets his counter pick, and we have seen how stages have heavily affected uh, how Dath has been performing so far. Yep. Um, wonder where he's going to go. Maybe yep. And this game is going to decide who moves on to grand finals to see Tub. Yeah. Yep, going over to Dreamland. Yep. That's going to be a good stage pick there. Uh, the stage ceiling is the same as Smashville, so it's going to be easy for him to get his hoo-hahs. Platforms are very, very hard to work around when you have Ooh. someone with a Levin Sword slashing through them, making it really hard for you to land. Nice bouncing fish. Trey right gets an early kill there. here, or at least an early lead. It's going to look really good for him, but Dath has been so, so potent. With, uh, that spacing with these fairs are ridiculous right now. He's been catching Trayvonte almost every time he's been trying to approach. Either yeah. would it be a fair or a bouncing fish. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they are going to end up doing next. Because uh, Trayvonte is having a hard time getting back down onto the ground. There's another jab. So strong. Does so much percent and also ends up finishing off as a potential kill move in the higher percent. We are looking at an even game so far, but the Levin Sword, you know, that really puts Sheik in a bad spot. Trevante being really smart, running out of that situation, because yeah. if Daft were to get that grab, back throw, boys. Yeah, Trevante really can't challenge him on those platforms. Because an out of shield fair, ooh, look really bad. Getting out of that hoo-ha situation, good stuff. Daft still putting in work with the item that the Levin Sword becomes. There. Oh, Ooh. goes high for the bouncing fish and takes the stock. Hitting him with that sizzling shrimp. If Trevante can rack up some percent here, he really needs the extra credit. But there's Ooh, the back air, back air, and that ends up evening up the game. These guys have stayed neck and neck nearly the entire time. If Dap takes control, Trevante's going to be in a from really Trevante tough spot. right there, getting out of that combo. And this is it, last stock, game five. Let's see who's going to move on to Grand Finals right now. Oh, risky Elwin, but Trevante does not end up getting a punish. I think he was okay, probably... Okay, the Levin Sword is out of play. This is exactly where Trevante wants to be. Dat still has uh, the Tome. Oh, goes for an off-stage stage spike. It's not going to work just yet. There, once again, some solid percent from Jab. Ooh, they Trevante trade. eating that there. Great grab right there into Bouncing Fish. Robin just so susceptible to all of Sheik's combos. There, bouncing fish. That I is think that might have been be it unless Ooh. he has a jump. He ends up making it back. Up B is ridiculous of Robin's goes up so high. Oh, oh. Trevante! My goodness, I I thought he was gonna eat it. If he would have gotten a hard coming hit, up with Nosferatu, getting more. some percentage back. Back here. My goodness. Levin Sword is back in play again. This is a tough spot for both of them. The high percent for Dath means bouncing fish is. Much scarier for Trevante. He cannot get down thrown into that up air. And so <gasps> and unfortunate. And only had one, not two. Unfortunate stuff oh. for Daft up there. But Trevante winning the set 3-2, moving on to grand finals, getting his rematch with Teb.